Everything you need Waves, girls, and kings Simply divine Is where you need to be Everything you need Waves, girls, and kings Simply divine Is where you need to be Hello everyone, my name is Shantina Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel So in today's video I am going to show you how I wash and style my headband wig for the week. Also in this video, I am gonna show you how I moisturize and prep my hair under my headband wig. But before I get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you are clicking that notification bell also so you won't miss any video that I put up. Okay, so let's get into the video. So right now I have my hair twisted up in this satin line cap, but by the end of the video, I will do the big wig reveal. And I'm also gonna show you guys how I actually um, style the wig after it has been washed and dried. But first I did do a demo, which brought us to this point right here today. Um, I did a demo showing you how I moisturize and prep my hair under my wig and then I also did a demo um, showing you guys how I actually wash, um, detangle, moisturize and condition um, my headband wig. And this process for the headband wig, I do this probably once every two weeks because I don't wear the wig that much. Um, but to give it a good wash and condition and detangle is very healthy for your wig. So I wanted to demonstrate that to you. So let's go ahead and get right on into that demonstration. All right, so I'm about to show you the products that I use to refresh my protective style under my wigs. All right, so First and foremost, you want to make sure you're using a water-based product. And the one I'm using today is, can you guys see that? It is the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. This is such a good product, okay? I spritz this on my hair. I, I definitely spritz it on my hair like every other night or every other day um, but I definitely use this to refresh my hair and if you don't want to get this um, you can definitely use like aloe vera juice and water mix it in like drop a essential oil in there or you can drop Jamaican black castor oil in there and it would be just as good but I do like to use this one and then I am going to put a little bit just a little bit of this um, Camille Rose Natural Curl Love Moisture Milk. I'm gonna also be using this Biotin Hair Serum. I have really been using Biotin Hair Serum now for maybe a month and a week, and I definitely see a huge difference. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little oil on my scalp, massage my scalp, and then I'm gonna put my hair back up into a protective style and for the week. So first off, I'm gonna show y'all what my hair is looking like. First of all, this is the first time I am taking this scarf off for the entire day. And if you don't believe me, hold on, what time is it? It is 4.44. Let's see what it look like. It definitely needs to be um, refreshed. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. As you can see, I kind of got it in into six um, braids. So, but I'm gonna take it. I, I do not suggest you do your hair. I mean, I don't suggest that you keep doing your hair in the same protective style because it will put a strain on your hair in that particular um, space. So that's why I like to take mine down and then I'm gonna turn these into, um, right now they are braided, 
cornrow braids and then I've got a twist at the end. So I'm gonna take these out and then I'm going to, I'm not gonna cornrow them, I'm just gonna probably put, this one's probably gonna have two, I'm just gonna put two braided and then I'm gonna twist it at the end and I'm gonna do that all over my hair and that's gonna be my protective style for the next couple of days and I should be able to wear that protective style under um, my headband wig also. So let me go ahead and get started and I'm gonna start back here. A little length check. First thing I do, give it a little squirt. Go in there and get it on my scalp. I like to put it on my scalp dry without putting like any water or anything like that on my scalp because I want it to sit straight on my scalp. I don't want it, have to, it to have to go through any water or anything like that, just straight to it. So once I get it on my scalp, then I go in and spray just a little bit. You don't want to drench it. You just want to refresh it. A nice refresh, pull the water through. So now that it's got a little, just a little bit of dampness on it, I'll go back in with this. I'll make sure that this Biotin serum is on my hair like first right after the water. But I, I spritz the water on there and it is like at room temperature because I keep it, like I don't keep it in the refrigerator or anything like that. So it's not cold. So for me to put this on just a little bit and you take it and you baby the ends, you wanna put this on the ends, and baby the ends. Then I go in with just a little bit of the moisture milk. And this is going to be added mostly towards like the middle end cause you gotta get those ends and make sure they are you know, moisturize and you gotta baby it. Just a little watch. Probably not even that much. So just a little, just to wake it back up. Just a little bit. And then next and final, I gotta go in there. It is the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening oil it is infused with biotin and it encourages growth so i'm just going to do a dot just a dot and then one dot with drop not dot drop and the drop is going to the drop on my fingers is going to go on the ends to seal in what i just did now you don't want to put too much because remember this is not a wash day and because it's not a wash day i don't want to you know, um, get product build up. And I'm holding the ends, tension on the ends here just so my hair won't um, tangle back up. I'm gonna just braid it and then twist it at the bottom. So I'm gonna braid it for about one, two, three, four, five, right? And split it in two. Like so. My ends are looking pretty good, pretty thick, pretty good. So I'm just gonna twist that off. So let's go into right here.
I put my little scarf on around my edges. Let me just show you what the final product look like. Alright, so now I am about to go wash and condition my wig. So let's go take care of that. Alright, so I am at my sink and I have my headband wig right here. Um, I wish I would have did like some type of tutorial on what I did when I got my headband wig, but I'm going to show you. Um, when I got it, it, you know, it just had the regular, you know, net, how a wig comes. But I didn't want my hair to be, like, sitting on it. And for some reason, my head does not keep, like, a stocking cap or a satin cap or anything like that on my head when I have a wig on. So I decided since I'm going to be, this is my pretty much my main wig that I wear, I decided to stitch a wig cap, a satin wig cap on the inside of my headband wig. And you can kind of see the stitching there. You see the stitching? Yeah. So I stitched it all the way around. So now I have this satin um, piece, this satin cap that's inside of the wig. Um, and like as you can see, it is a headband wig. And I did dye this um, like a 1B when I first got it. This is a, um, I think this is a 3C4A bundle. It is 22 inches round. It is 14 inches long. It came in like a natural brown color and I dyed it a 1B color. So it looks really dark, it looks black. All right, so now that the demonstration is done, and that was pretty easy, right? Easy enough, a quick little refresh under the wig and a nice uh, wash and condition for the actual wig. Um, it's very healthy for the wig. So I have the wig here and she is dry. Let me take I do keep her in a satin bonnet. So let's go ahead and take this off. And here she is, completely dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on, take this off. Got my edges laid down. These have been up for about, um, about a day and a half. They are completely dry. 
I didn't tie them I didn't pin them up and I'm just gonna just take it like this and got a body pin here put this here mirror so I can see what I'm doing all right so see I got my baby hairs already ready to go uh, it's gonna pin it up in the back I'm used to doing that. I'm not used to doing this sitting down. <laughs> I'm normally in the bathroom doing this. So let me just get a little bit more comfortable. Let this seat up some. <clears throat> and I do put it on with the front first. So I can just line it up with my head. But there's it's got it has three combs. One, two, three. The one in the middle are hardly ever clip in my hair. But the ones on the side here, I do. And then it has one clip at the bottom here. And then it has the Velcro on each side so you can tighten it. On, I'm going to look at my camera right here. And then... Oh, that feels good. That feels real good. It's in there. Wait, this side is not. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and take the straps and strap them up. Oh, that feels really good. Oh, that fits really, really nice. Look, I really don't even have to do anything at this point. It matches my hair texture. Now, because of the products that I used on it when I washed it, um, it don't even have a crunch or anything like that because I didn't put any gel in it. But, and this looks like my hair, not as... Um, full my hair is definitely longer or probably just as long as this but um this is what my hair looks like on day like three no maybe day two no day three when i'm doing um a wash and go and that's what i love about this headband wig is that i can it can be day three for as long as i want it to be day three without having to you know refresh it refresh it every day that's why i put the satin scarf on there because it really preserve the headband wig or any wig i would i would believe now i do like to go in with a little oil just to it, it doesn't have any crunch and it's really really good i don't need any oil but i'm just going to spritz a little bit of this coconut oil this hydrating oil mist um whenever i wear this wig i will spritz it just a little bit because it definitely brings a lot of shine to this um wig that's nice it looks natural that's all I do. And I think what makes it really natural for me is that I made sure I got a wig that matched my hair texture and my hair length. Now, it doesn't match the density because my hair is not this dense, but it's getting there. Um, and these are my hair goals. But because I tried to get it as close as possible to my hair texture, length, and density, it really comes off being very, very natural for me. So a lot of people, um, like, like my friends and family, they like look and they're like, that looks good on you. It looks exactly like your hair. And I'm the type of person that wears my hair off my face anyway. So it just a style that I will wear in my everyday life anyway. So these headband wigs is really a two thumbs up for me. I really like it. It is an excellent, 
excellent, excellent protective style. It is an excellent protective style because it's no, it's no stress on your edges. Um, you don't have to cornrow your hair down, putting stress on your edges. You can do twists. You can do individual twists. Um, like you just saw that I had individual twists and I don't have any stress or strain on my hair. So that's why the headband wig is a go-to um, for me. So there you have it, how I style and prep my wig and how I moisturize and prep my hair for the protection style going under um, my headband wig. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Don't forget to turn on the notification button also so you won't miss any video that I put out. And always remember to stay focused keep moving forward in a positive direction forsaking all negativity that tries to invade your space and to my next video i'll see you guys later bye everything you need ways girls and kings simply divide is where you need to